Hello and welcome to my Williams Rate of Glory Grimmade here today for the Canadian Grand Prix for Season 4. Monaco last time out was a pretty decent, decent race. I can link that down below. But here is a grid for the Grand Prix and then we'll get into it. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Gasly, Nicholas Latifi and Perez, Leclerc, Sainz, Sonoda and Daniel Ricciardo, Vettel, Russell, Lance Stroll, Brown, Ocon, Joe, Christian Lundgaard, and Mick Schumacher. Mazepin and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. So we're starting 12th and 14th for us Williams, George just ahead of us. We're gonna be doing a two stop, soft to medium, and back to soft. And now here we go. Starting the Canadian Grand Prix, the lights went out. And Lando Norris got a good start. So we're going to do what we always do, send it down the inside of our teammate. He pushes us off onto the grass and then we try and go wide. And we had a big moment and nearly, was he nearly went into the side of our teammate George Russell. Now. So we threw the first chicane. Now we a little kink and now into the second chicane where we're going to send it down the inside of George and Daniel Ricciardo and Sebastian Vettel as well. It's down the inside now. We're going off the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. And up next is Carlos Sainz. If you were watching the series last season or now, then we had a bit of an incident with Sainz towards the end of the Grand Prix. At this corner at Turn 1, this time now it's clean and we go down the inside and get past Carlos Sainz. Next up is Yuki Sonoda down the inside we get past Yuki and now can we go forward even more because it's Paris next but this is Mick Schumacher retiring from the Grand Prix as his Haas the Ferrari engine has decided it doesn't want to go anywhere anymore and we're on the back now catching ever so slightly Sergio Perez it's in the background there, Carlos Sainz down the inside on Yuki Sonoda. Easy move for the Spaniard. So we skip on in. Into pits comes Carlos Sainz, we stayed out. Sainz looking to do the undercut here. As he goes on to the mediums, out of the pits now. And now can he beat out Sonoda? And I think he just did there is now. We send it down the inside of Esteban Ocon. As we have in fact pitted, we pitted a couple of laps today and we have been hunted down now by Sergio Perez who has also pitted and we've somehow managed to jump through the stops and now next up is Lando Norris we could be on for podium there as there goes Sergio Perez around the outside Vespa knock on, we send it down the inside of Guan Yu Zhou and we leave Perez now to do the deed himself so he goes to the outside he's gonna try to the outside again here through the chicane around the outside Sergio Perez is after that so we keep putting obstacles in the way but as we go wide at the hairpin the Mexicans alongside us we manage to just about get the exit but going down into the final chicane he's on the outside the only thing we can do here is force him wide but we're just a little bit too far back than I thought we was. Clearly not, we defend him. But here in the dip, at the, the hairpin, we went deep again, and now Paris is going to think about having another go as he went to the outside and passed us. Unless we send another one, he's got us, and he has. Possibly, can we get the exit? But no, no we can't, unless we, no, we don't send it. We've got a big gap over for Yuki Sonoda. 
but can we stick with Sergio Perez now and win that later? We just about managed it. As we're going to try and re overtake the Red Bull driver around the outside to then go down the inside into the first corner. And we retake, get P5. We skip one now, Max um, is pitted from the lead as now Sergio Perez. Could have managed to re overtake us, is now going to pit and try and do the undercut on us. So he goes on to the another set of mediums. Of course, I want to go longer, so this could be Paris's chance to go back on to the soft compound tyres as he comes out of the pits. As the weather's getting very dark, it's not meant to rain, but you never know. As here comes um, Verstappen on us now. He's leading the race and there's not really much point fighting him because we're after his teammate is dead. And now we're at 24 into the pits, putting our soft compound tyres. And now we head out of the pits. And now where is Sergio Perez? There he is. You can see him, you can see him. And he's out. Miles up the road. From us, Sergio Perez. But in fact, the, the soft tyres weren't the way to go as he died. And now, here comes Daniel Ricciardo at um, Carlos Sainz round the outside. Can he get the exit to get past the Ferrari? Yes, he does. He's heading down into the hairpin. This is the final lap of the Grand Prix as George sends it down the inside of Charles Leclerc. And Can he, it's a drag race up to the line, can he do it? As we're right ahead of this, we're gonna get a fairly nice P6 here. It's through the final chicane, George couldn't quite do it. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. So good job by Max Verstappen who is starting to put a bit of a statement on this championship just three rounds in. But we'll see what he can do. Can he go all the way? As he's now got a four point lead over Valtteri Bottas and a five point lead over Nicholas Latifi. In terms of the constructors, then we have gone up a little bit, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Bit of a short one, not a lot really happened in this Grand Prix. But until next race at Silverstone, my home Grand Prix, goodbye.